So just what is human ecology? When people are asked this question, they automatically think of the 1950s housewife and her duties, such as cooking, cleaning, doing the laundry, taking care of the children, and so on. In addition to this idea, people think human ecology is just for women because it's not masculine enough for a man to take. This also leads into the assumption this program is a waste of time, but really people don't realize the impact of human ecology on everyday living. For instance, students in a business program or biomed program might believe human ecology is not educational as other programs, when really the field of home economics ties in with every degree a student graduates with, such as biomed relates to food safety, business relates to consumer research project manager, math relates to human ecology by understanding budgeting, chemistry relates with food production and development, and engineering relates by creating innovative new ideas. With that said, bridging the gap between what people think human ecology is and what it actually is has always been a challenge for years. So now let's take a look back into the 19th century when human ecology was first developed. The field opened a variety of doors for women to enter university and colleges. Women wanted to improve the quality of life through the application of knowledge. The development of home economics as a field to study resulted from the desire to teach young women to apply science to the management of their homes. The traditional home economics content areas of textiles and clothing, housing and interior design, home management and consumer studies, foods and nutrition and child development and family relations define the field for first 60 years of the 20th century. During the last 30 years, however, the traditional core subjects have diminish, influencing on the profession. It's become more specialized within certain courses. For example, the traditional subject of family relations into courses such as social problems or family counseling. Now human ecology has become increasingly narrow. There has been a push to return to the field's original holistic roots. So where you can go with a degree in human ecology? Well, you work in a variety of different environments such as hospitals, nursing and retirement homes, social and community agencies, government manufacturing industries, research labs, university colleges, and the list goes on. Isn't a well-rounded graduate one of the most important resources a society can have?